So today is a very exciting day because we are going to be continuing the I tried to make things that are super difficult series. It's not really a series yet because we've only done one and now this is the second one, but I'm hopeful about it, so I'm gonna call it a series. And it's also a very exciting day because we have a sponsorship on the second channel. So I wanna give a warm welcome, round of applause, and thank you to Brooke Linen for sponsoring this video. Thank you. If you are looking for comfy sheets, I definitely suggest checking out Brooke Linen. Not only did they create the best sheets, but they also offer other amazing home goods. Everything they have is super high quality while also being offered at the best price possible. So if you are looking to elevate your home with quality home goods that will last you a long time, make sure to check out Brooklinen. Especially right now because Brooklinen is having a site-wide sale where you can get up to 20% off bundles and other items. With these savings and the holidays coming up, it's a great time to snag a few pieces, just like me. These sheets are from the Lux Hardcore Bundle. Because I'm Lux and I'm hardcore. By the way, over on the website, you can mix and match your bundle colors. You don't have to get them all one color. I just did that because I wanted it to be cohesive. Little hack I would recommend is getting one of these hardcore bundles. You'll save 35% off because it'll stack the savings with the bundles. Just a word of advice. Their Lux Hardcore Bundle comes with one fitted sheet, one flat sheet, one duvet cover, and four pillowcases. I'm loving the yellow. I also feel very at peace knowing Brooklyn is Oeco Tech certified. Whenever I try to say Oeco Tech, it just doesn't work. It's this, assuring safety for you and your family. If you're looking at getting your own Lux sheets or any other style, make sure to check out Brooklyn in while they're having their 20% off site-wide sale. And for even better value, make sure to stack your savings by getting one of the bundles, which could save you up to 35% off. <sighs> Good morning. I just had a great sleep. I mean, these sheets were great. I've used Brooklyn and sheets in the past. But this is a new set. And it was just as good. I feel like these sheets did a really good job with temperature control. Apparently, that could be because the Lux set is sateen. Sateen is more tightly woven than percale, making it more warm and buttery soft, which in the winters, I'm usually cold. So it kept me nice and warm. My mood after that sleep. Thank you so much to Brooklyn in for sponsoring. Now we must get ready to make this difficult recipe. Compression stockings on can only mean one thing, you guys asked me to cook something difficult and I'm gonna try to today. I am going to be making frog macarons. Not macaroons. I wasn't just running around my house saying macaroon. Asking for a friend, is it macaroon or is it macaron? Macaroon is that coconutty kind of chocolate thing and macaron is that French almond. So we're making macarons. Oh my gosh, flake coconut, you are right. <gasps> and we also have three recipes by the way. So I'm actually allergic to a very pivotal ingredient in macarons. Yes, I'm one of those people who will die if they eat an almond. It's unfortunate, but it's true. So I have a nut-free macaron. I have the what I think is the original highly reviewed frog macaron and we have a royal icing recipe so there is a lot we have to do today I've never made a macaron in my life but I've always wanted to and I've always dreamed of eating one because every time I go to a bakery I'm like does this have nuts in it and it always does because almond is like the most important flour so we're leaving a lot of variables to mess this up because we've substituted almond flour with oat flour so we'll see how this works but yeah this was the top comment on the last video where we cooked donuts. We made creme brulee donuts. So if you have a really difficult food that you'd like to see me attempt to make, comment down below. Whilst I'm doing this housekeeping, make sure to click the subscribe button. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna get to work. Combine oat flour and powdered sugar and set aside. 
Look at these beautiful bowls of pre-measured ingredients so that I'm not filming for 17 hours. Let's combine. On YouTube, I'm a horrible baker and chef, but in my real life, in our household, I am awesome at cooking and baking. <laughs> the bar is so low. But then on YouTube, where there's a bunch of professional chefs and bakers and people in the comments who have went to culinary school, I don't, I don't stand up the same. Beat egg whites on medium speed until foamy. It's, I think that's what this is. I'm gonna smell it. <sighs> ah! It's egg whites. Beat egg whites on medium. One eternity later. I have this giant thing of cream of tartar. So I got this for my Swiss roll originally three months ago. Used like this much of it. Okay, I'm adding it. Like, is that gonna do anything? That was nothing. Add cream of tartar and continue beating until you start to see a pattern from the whisk in the foam. Okay. That looks like a pattern from the whisk. Yes, it is a baking a pattern. Right, because we can see where the the whisk has been. Yeah. Slowly and gradually add the sugar while still oh. beating. <laughs> wow. Add the oat flour mixture to the egg whites. Stir by running a spatula around the edge of the bowl. Okay, so we have to do this very carefully. Okay, we have three options for food coloring because this is a professional establishment. I'm gonna go for this one. Cause I know these like gel ones are good, I think. Cause I want these babies to be green. I'm on the cameras in it so much. Oh gosh, this might be the end for me. Like this is never going to mix. Like, are we gonna make one macaron? Like, why is this so few? Who the F put this together? <laughs> the ingredients were supposed to make 12 macaroons. So like 20. What's a macaroon? Or macaron. <laughs> Mom. Don't embarrass me. My arm's getting tired. It's actually working though. Look how good it's looking. The green is perfect. It's hard. Macaroning's really hard on my arms. Maybe it's because I did that weird dance workout the other day where I was just in the room like this. <laughs> Check that baby out. It's a great consistency. Although it says continue doing this until the batter falls off the spatula with some breaking just before the figure eight stage. What? It's not looking like it's falling off the spatula. I mean, I guess it depends what you're thinking, but like it's definitely stuck to my spatula. What do you think, mom? I'm confused. Continue doing this until the batter falls off the spatula with some breaking. Oh, I know. Okay, stir, lift it up, and then just see, does it fall off? Does it break when you break, break? Okay, so we are gonna use two piping bags. The reusable piping bags, they are the worst thing on planet Earth to clean. But I love planet Earth, so we use them. Now this one's for the little ears, because this isn't like a typical macaron. This has got little ears. Aren't those eyes? Yes. That's so wrong of you, because you know before we started filming, you were calling them ears, <laughs> and I said they're eyes, mom. So you put it in the center like this. There, I, that would probably be good. Oh my goodness, this is scary. Gosh, you're doing so good. Thank you. Oh gosh. Yeah, what am I at right now? That is the weirdest layout of, of a baking sheet. Oh, you have 16, so that would make eight cookies. Okay, so now I have to add the little eyes, so probably could have done this with the same one, but we're trying to really impress you guys, so I'm gonna do it like this. So I only have to do this to half of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eighteen. So I have to do this to eight, nine. Okay, so I just go like this. It's working. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Bang the baking sheet on the counter to the floor or floor to release any air bubbles. <laughs> Lit rest for 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, I hate when things need to rest. You guys can just rest over here. Holy crap. 
Are you impressed right I'm now? I'm so impressed. Like, I, I'm, I'm like containing myself here. You've done it. She's really done it this time. Two seconds later. She is working tirelessly to <laughs> make 12 cookies. <laughs> Waste not, want not. Oh yeah, we're gonna get the right amount. There. Oh yeah. Okay, I was just eating lunch. But the timer went off. So I have to put them in for 15. Excuse me, but we're gonna do it for 12 and then peek at them. Please God, don't let those get messed up. Okay, it's been 12 minutes and I am thrilled to report that it did the little macaron thing. Do you see that it did the thing? Oh my gosh, it did the thing. <gasps> <laughs> so like, even, ah, even she's excited. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Chippy. It's like every time I go to say <laughs> Okay, we're gonna let these cool completely. And I'm gonna put in the next ones. A few moments later. <gasps> My mom just squished one. <laughs> you pushed it down. Oh, Why I... would you do that? I don't know. <laughs> They're not fully dried yet. It's still a little warm. Oh, is it? Okay, yes. we'll give it more time. Step away. Step away from the cookie. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make the filling. By the way, the nut-free one is the filling one we're using. We're using the like frog one as inspiration. It's very confusing. I'll link them all down below. Beat butter until light and fluffy and then add remaining ingredients. Here's the butter. I have never actually been patient enough to use room temperature butter. But this is actually room temperature butter. But okay, I'm gonna beat this. Uh, where'd all the butter go? Where did it all go? It's gone. I have butter and now there's fun. Alrighty, that's light and fluffy. That's the kind of step that usually when I'm cooking, I'm like, I'm gonna skip that step because it creates a lot of mess and I don't feel like it's worth it, but we'll see. We're gonna put the rest of the ingredients in. This is marshmallow fluff. Like, look how satisfying it looks. I've never cooked with marshmallow fluff before, but I'm excited about it. Confectioner's sugar and vanilla. I love vanilla. Okay, can I mix this with that? Yeah. Thank you, off camera. <laughs> Am I the only one when using a mixer like this? The entire time you're using it, you're like, don't stick your finger in it. Don't stick your finger in it. Don't give in. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because that's definitely something that I do. Mmm! Mm -mm -mm. You were what? gonna add green to it. I know. Oh, good. You think I'm ugly? All right, I'm just gonna finish mixing this. Ooh. Oh, hold on a minute. Another beautiful batch. Usually we make tons of icing and we have way too much. Yeah, so. this is like just right. Yeah. Assembly, pair similar size shells, pipe the filling onto the bottom of one shell and each pair place the bottom of the shell onto pipe. Oh my God. No one's at the front door doorbell. <laughs> That's new. I'm not used to that yet. So while the macarons are cooling down. We're gonna make this royal icing. We need egg whites, one third pound of confectioner sugar. She's looking for her set out ingredients. No, they're not set out. <laughs> <laughs> we need like this much royal icing. Whatever, it's fine. We're just going to do this. So beat egg white on medium low until frothy. Let's do this. Okay, we're going to slowly add in confectioner's sugar. Just gonna drop a little bit in. Increase speed to medium high. It's good enough. We're reaching the good enough phase. We're gonna dye it pink, because this is for the cheeks. That looks pretty. That is pretty, that's a good color. Oh yes. I think we're like ready to assemble. These are now fully dried, so I have to be really careful picking them up because they kind of want to stick to this silicone mat. We've had a few fallen frogs. <gasps> Yay! 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 Now it's time to ice them. So I'm gonna just put like a little bit of icing. Gosh, you see how much I'm shaking? <laughs> okay, I don't know how much. I'm just gonna do this for now, and then I'll add more if I have enough. Oh gosh, I'm getting messy. I'm getting messy. I need to take a step back. Take a step back. I'll start with these ones. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna push this on without wrecking it. It's perfect. Gosh, 
gosh, they're so delicate. Stop it. This is so fun. Look at this. That was a perfect macaroon. <laughs> this video has definitely taken a turn. It's no longer fun and funny. It's now very serious. <laughs> we need to do this right. <laughs> Oh my gosh. These are the best thing that I've ever done in life, for sure. Now I have this edible food pen. I need to draw their eyes and their mouth. I'm gonna practice on this one. Ooh. It's just like it's so flaky and delicate, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that one's the new blueprint. So cute. Okay, <laughs> the blush. Ready? <laughs> I'm so glad I made like three pounds of royal icing. OMG. <laughs> what are you thinking? I think they're freaking cute. They're adorable. <laughs> The frog macarons are complete. Oh my goodness. I am so impressed with how they turned out. I haven't even tasted them yet, but I'm so impressed. Never did I think it would turn out this good. Even if it tastes like garbage, I'm still impressed. And you guys don't know, as a allergy girly, I have always wanted to have a macaron and I always watch people bite into them. I've been so jealous. So this is my moment. Mom, let's try these babies. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers! Oh my gosh. Mmm! So delicious! It's so crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. Oh my goodness. Mm. Honestly, I thought that was going to be harder to do. And don't get me wrong, it took all day. It mm. took all day. But if you guys have any other difficult recipes you'd like to see us try, comment them down below if you want this to be a series. Thank <laughs> you for watching. Please subscribe if you like mediocre content and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye! And also thanks again to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video. Remember that their Black Friday sale is happening right now where you can get 20% off site-wide and up to 35% off when you purchase a hardcore bundle.